gorgeous people welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new here then welcome i hope you're all good I cannot actually see my camera screen with my sunglasses on there's a lot of mess going on here right now i'll explain the suitcases later i am quite literally rushing out the door starting this vlog so i'm really sorry about that but just before i get in the car and sit down and probably cruise my outfit i just wanted to show you a little outfit of the day can we just not talk about that honestly life is just a lot right now um i've just thrown together this little cute outfit so just thought i'd show you i'm heading to manchester for the afternoon i'll talk to you about what i'm actually doing in manchester once i'm on the way because we just don't have the time right now but how cute is this little like transitional autumnal outfit these boots are h&m only just cleaned them since wearing them to creamfields which is absolutely gross i know uh jeans are old asos but they bring these out every year it's just like their asos design flared jean shirt is super old misguided bodysuit is very old as well but you guys know it's the zara bodysuit that everybody wears and then this coat again is old asos but i just love doing these outfit of the days for like things that you've already got in your wardrobe because it's so good to take inspiration from that without having to buy new things just turn the camera around because I've got a slightly different lip colour on today. When I say slightly different, I've mixed it with what I normally wear, which is Yash by MAC. But I've also mixed in Fast Play, which is from their Amplified range, which is more pinky. Because I was looking at some old pictures from like when me and Lauren were in LA, and I wore like more pinkier lip colours then. And I feel like they just suit me more than like the beige nudes. So yeah, I just mixed that in a little bit today. Hair is in this very messy bun, haven't even looked at the back of it. And we've got loads of suitcases and my life's a mess but we'll come back to that another day happy thursday very random day to be starting the vlog and i'm gonna go and get my ass in the car when i was in sainsbury's i got a sainsbury petrol station i grabbed a grab bag of salt and vinegar squares which by the way are my favorite crisp ever so i've just literally come onto the motorway and i'm sat here eating them like enjoying my crisp motoring away i'm literally just pulled onto the motorway i'm sat here munching my crisps and then this van overtakes me this like quite a big van obviously i was just listening to music eating my crisps driving away and then it like slowed down and got back on the inside lane so when i overtook it i was like that's weird because it's just overtaken me like why would it slow down i overtook it and because it had like slowed down like rapidly i looked to the left and the two lads in the van both held up their salt and vinegar squares and were like hey we were both like eating them at the same time oh my god that was literally the funniest thing if that was you or maybe your boyfriend because i doubt they'd be watching this in the north wales area just come on to the a55 please i need to know the white it was just a white van there was no business oh my god so funny i am going to meet my gorgeous manager maddie who is one of the girls at flourish that looks after me at my management and lauren as well she looks after lauren too uh, but she is in manchester today for a shoot with one of the other girls from flourish so she's already in the north and she was like actually we've literally not caught up in person obviously we have like zoom calls and calls all the time but she was like we've not caught up in person in so long because everyone's lives have just been manic so she's like why don't we grab like a tea she also loves tea as much as we do vlog gang why don't we grab a tea like whilst i'm in manchester like you can head into manchester and it's worked out perfectly actually because i'm actually going for dinner to ultra good market tonight with lauren and our other friends millie and millie so i was like oh i'm already heading that way so why don't i come into manchester we can get a tea catch up get some work done make some notes think of a plan of action for like the next quarter and like brands that i want to work with and stuff like that and then i can go to lauren's on my way back so it's just tied in absolutely perfectly oh and also darlings i forgot to mention when i got my nails done this morning gone back to french which is very old school asha um so yeah the usual morning grabbed me and had a coffee from costa by the way oh mind you this will be like a week in hand so the offer probably still won't be on but basically today costa were doing like two of their festive drinks for four pound as long as you like have the qr code in the app that was very good i got us a gingerbread what is that piece of hair sticking out i got us a gingerbread um latte and a maple syrup maple hazel syrup latte uh which is what hannah got and i drank the gingerbread one it was very nice feeling very festive yeah back to my usual french feeling very business lady that's how i feel with these I feel like a boss bitch with my life together i do love the dark nails i love the glass of brie and i love the chocolate nails but this is when i feel most me and it just goes with everything and i've got so much coming up over the next couple of weeks say hi mad hi. this is the face behind my whole life <laughs> literally we were just saying we literally sat in the dark in the dakota and everything's like looks like we're telling a ghost story and it's our face <laughs> mad hasn't got her glasses thank god i've got contact lenses in um, but we've got a tea i was saying to the vlog before that you're also a tea gal I've finished my which tea. is great your tea's gone there's more in the teapot though anyway we've actually got work to do believe it or not
done. I've just got to Lauren's house. Honestly, trying to park on Lauren Street actually gives me anger issues. Like, I can't even explain what it's like down here. Um, oh my God, I've got actual really bad indigestion. An hour until we're going to the market for food. So I've got caramel digesters, which I popped into the cart to get because the only thing Lauren's actually got available to use in her kitchen right now is the kettle. So we will have snacks. Are you ready for a sneak peek of the new Hi, TV. kitchen? Welcome to my crib. It looks so I nice. I mean, obviously it's not finished, guys. I didn't realise when we last had dinner in the vlog, that was like our last dinner in the old kitchen. Yeah. I wish I'd have cherished it more. Some mm. memories made here. We'd had a roast Look at dinner, this, there's an island. I know, obviously it the does. island looks tiny. Do you know, it feels bigger with all these I bits I know, it's in. weird, isn't it? But it was never, it never felt small. No, so, there was just so much space, wasn't there? You're getting rid of the dining table. Yeah. But you, we're going to keep it for now because I haven't got bastard, so... But you, but you're just Obviously, gonna use this as seating. The stone is gonna come up to here. So What's the worktops like? These. Well, we're taking these down, so just. Yeah, you know. Lauren, oh, sorry, I didn't point it up. Lauren's not sure. Well, they're supposed to be floating shells, and they've these, got brackets. Yeah, I'm not not about the bracket life, so I'm just gonna take it down, get a joiner to do me one. So this is coming down to here. Mhm. Mm and then I'm having a floating shelf. Go so to it's there. all flush. Seamless. So yeah. It's, yeah. And then it goes there. Rather than like, up, yeah, it's too many levels well, like what's that. What's going on here? Like, what, yeah, I this, agree. This needs to bring it down and then I need to pl get plaster to plaster all this. Yeah, are you, are you tiling the wall? No, the stone, the stone is going here and then up the wall. Oh, sweet. But obviously it needs to be cut and then my um, sockets need to go on. She's bought new handles already because she's not yeah, sure I hate handles. These. I didn't ask for correct. Well, this bit. Oh yeah, okay. So show my little wine. Oh, the wine. Oh, do you know what? I wasn't I was gonna get a wine cooler, but that means putting electrics into the We've got a wine cooler and I honestly don't even use it. Bin. This is so handy. Normal I really, bin, bottle bin. I really want because obviously bin. we're having an island built for the kitchen, so it oh, doesn't yeah, come get, with get one. Me too. But Charlie's dad's friend is doing one for us. So oh, I wanna bottles. do this normal waste i'm like a, ask anyone do you have to separate your cardboard your paper yeah, and yeah. two bottles oh i don't not in wales yeah me too i love the second choice like it. you're such a oh, weirdo weird, yeah i love, I love it, it. Oh. and then this is my pen so look that they come out as it folds in yeah so it's a swing and pull oh pull. my god sauces maybe on the bottom that's Herbs so and cool and so oils and stuff and then watch have like crisps I the island oh, is is the one lids. i love these like yeah. Uh, rims. I love this gorgeous rim. Oh, you do like being rim, don't you? I love, I love a gorgeous rim. <laughs> Guys, I'm just going to pause the vlog while Lauren tells me something really funny. Yeah. I actually look like a schoolgirl. Been a me so all nice. day. I know. Businesswoman. Mm. You're such a businesswoman. Mm. You know, my back is until like quarter past eight tonight. She's, She's not going to get back to it. Sussex until 1am. She's got a, like, like four journeys to do. <laughs> Oh, I'm not sitting outside, me. by the way, just an FY hit. Oh, no. <laughs> Here? If only, no. honey. No. Where are you going, then? Hat is always busy here. Here? To say. You just look like a floating egghead. Um, is it the coat of the, the chastity coat or whatever it's called? <laughs> well, that makes you invisible. <laughs> oh, the invisible cloak. Yeah. Why did I think it was called a chastity? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you're in your own world, darling. <laughs> what does that mean? Can't have sex. Really? Is it? I don't know. It's a bit like her. Hello! Hi! Sorry, saying hi to the dog first. Hello! Did you not want to walk, lazy? Did you not want to walk? Hi! Hi! Are you dining with the girls? He's trying to get their pizza. He's like, ooh, that smells nice. That smells nice. gorgeous people how are we it is saturday i did one of those things where i went a while on the vlog yesterday sorry wow my youtube room is such a mess let's not get that in um i 
yeah sorry about yesterday we skipped a whole day the last time you saw me was thursday so i'm very sorry about that but i just like basically yesterday did nothing did complete and utter jack shit um and you know what i was having i was having one of them days right i was on facetime to my mother for like the 12th million time in the day as we always are uh we facetime for like 30 second periods for no reason on and off throughout the day um and she was like what is wrong with you today like you're in a right funk and that's exactly what it was i was in such a funk and i said to her do you know what some days are hot girl days got your shit together days active gal days like that girl is amazing 99% of the time but sometimes in that little 1% there is sad girl days there is down girl days there is I don't know what's wrong with me but I can't be asked today days I want to sit in my pyjamas on the sofa and cuddle my dog and watch a film and drink lots of tea days and those days are okay and do you know what I thought it was really important for me to say that today because I'm such a good energy good vibes positivity you guys know you know I don't have to explain that but I have those days too and I feel like people think I mustn't um you know they are far and few between but they are they are not only fine we should welcome them with open arms because it makes us makes us appreciate the days like today where I'm in a completely different mind space all much more like it makes us appreciate these days and today I'm just like I say in a fresh mind space I was up early I mean I always am anyway my brother woke me up early um I put on like a good vibes good morning playlist that I've got and I washed my hair, I shaved my whole body, like I feel so fresh, so nice. My hair, I was literally just saying on my Instagram story, is quite literally thriving at the minute. Like we've been on a journey, haven't we? Um, and at the moment, I'm obsessed with it. I'm actually loving the short hair. I feel like this is like Rachel Green vibes right now when she cuts it short. Um, what was I actually coming to say? Can't even think. What am I doing today? Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Beth, my best friend. I am very happy. Oh, bless her. Uh, speaking of which, actually, listen to this last night, I was lying in bed. So she messaged me and it says, this is really sloppy, it's quarter to 10. And do you know what? Although we know these things, we rarely directly say them to each other, but she put, we, we write, we're one of those friends that like write, not in one big message, we're like message, message, messages. This is sloppy. Can I just say, how lucky are we? 28 years and we're still going strong that's all I wanted to say just love you so much and I thought literally so lucky we really meant it when we said best friends for life didn't we it's just mental she put love and appreciate you more than you'll ever know which is what I said to her and she put anything we go through we're still both here I love you always and honestly that is so true and like so Beth and I you've probably never seen Beth in a vlog she is not she's not a social media gal we are two completely opposite types of people considering we are inseparable best friends more like soul sisters at this point like, i wouldn't even go say that we're friends like she is a part of me literally because we've been in each other's lives that long we are so opposite and i'm talking down to our interests everything but our bond is so special that we could quite literally never be without each other so we got put in the same nursery it's where it all started and then we went to a Welsh primary school together then we went to a Welsh high school together and then we stayed on at that Welsh high school and did sixth form together then it came to uni I mean I was supposed to go to uni and then didn't end up going last minute but I was going to Liverpool and she went down to London to Royal Holloway and honestly like that was that could have been such a big detrimental hiccup after our solid lifelong friendship but we just made sure like we have to stay friends like she's gonna go and meet so many people which she has and bloody hell those girls that she's met there are amazing they've been such good friends to her um and she's developed a massive career in london i'm so proud of her she's such a clever girl she went on to study her master's degree in amsterdam uh and again even when she's in amsterdam i would go over there and see her which is one of the reasons why i love the city so much which i think i explained in the amsterdam vlog when charlie and i were there that my best friend used to live there um that is her anyway the reason why i'm telling you this one because she just messaged me and it's just jogged my memory and two because if you have a friend like that i cannot stress they are so hard to come by if you're younger than me right now say you're in sixth form you in your last year of high school you're about to maybe go your separate ways from your best friend it happens it does happen but trust me if it's solid and they are a bloody good friend to you and you know them inside and out and you could literally call them any time of the day rely on them for anything please keep them like please keep them like she is my 
she is literally like a soulmate to me like a friendship soulmate like i cannot even explain like we wouldn't be who we are without each other and honestly that is so true uh we've been through a lot together so yeah just thought i'd say that today guys uh, a little bit of a pet talk from me also just wanted to show you these cases i think i briefly showed you on the first day of this vlog <laughs> um but these have arrived from rock luggage now you guys know i have used rock luggage suitcases all year basically um the first set i had from them was like the vintage looking set like the white and brown set but they very kindly sent me i think because they've seen like how battered the suitcase is and how much i use it they got in touch and they were like can we send you like a new set uh we've just had a new launch which is called the tulum range because they're all like called different things um, so this is their brand new Tulum range, Tulum, Tulum, however you say it. They very kindly sent me and Charlie a set, like a little matching set, which by the way is so handy. Like we're moving into our first house ever together and this is just so handy, isn't it, for all of our travels. What I love about Rock Luggage is they all have, you would have seen them my vintage set, literally from the hand luggage size to the mid size to the large size, which is here. They all have this key code lock, obviously I haven't set any of them yet. Um, and the zips go into like the holes so they lock in there also guys oh look what i got yesterday i got all my photos from the camera shop so i took those six cameras to get developed didn't i and they i opted for the printed version and also a digital copy to be emailed to me which i've already received i posted some of them on my instagram story and these are the, all the hard copies here so the six cameras worth there was four color cameras two black and white cameras and yeah i got this album off amazon you would have seen this already and i'm gonna pop them all in here i've got an hour to burn until i need to leave charlie so i'm gonna do that now i'm just gonna quickly write on the back of them with my polaroids i like label them up with like a label machine because obviously it's on the front and you can see them and it looks really neat but with these let me just get that out so I can show you okay, so this is my dad's wedding so this is him in the registrar on the day of the wedding so I'm literally just going to write in Sharpie on the back like dad's wedding August 2022 it took me longer than I care to admit to write on the back of every single one of these photos and pop them in this photo album but I'm glad it's done now I can box it up this is how they look it's like proper this reminds me of like proper old school like when you go to your grandma's house and you pull out pictures these are just such good memories LA this is all our Santa Monica in the Ferris wheel Union Canyon and the views from the Hollywood sign literally love this photo of me and Lauren so much more LA Santa Monica Elefante Runyon Canyon that was at the hotel that was the night we went to that villa party oh these pictures are so cool look they're like proper vintage pictures of like Rodeo Drive how sick are they more of us in LA I feel like we did a lot in LA Ibiza Reggae Beach Charlie and Connor me as in amnesia cafe mamba more amnesia pics very dark oh this is uh the solid grooves opening this was such a funny day please look at me i think connor took that picture of me <laughs> i was like why are you so close and i was laughing um and then he took the picture to see and charlie oh devon's hen do and i be there when we stayed at our villa as well me and joey and brad and alioli typical asher what else on war of devs hen these are such nice pictures i love these so much the longest day and night ever we were so drunk look how drunk we are and i just taken my lashes off and i was like oh let's take a picture on the disposable i'm so glad i did because i literally love that picture so much uh more of amsterdam and then the rest of them are my dad's wedding just getting my last minute bits together to go to charlie's with before we get him in the car i'm gonna take these slippers to charlie's house so I can leave a pair there because I hate not having slippers. Is anyone else like that? These are the ones that I picked up in Matalan. If, if you saw my Matalan home haul, I picked these up while I was in there. Uh, they're really comfy. They're only really cheap. They're like £7. They're not hard at the bottom. They're soft. But just so I've got a pair of slippers there. And honestly, they're so comfortable. Uh, Alexa, play Lovely Day by Bill Withers. Jesus, it's rain. Let's strap you in, monkey. You booster sheet. Hang on. Good boy, there we go. No accidents for you, Papa. Hey? You good boy, you ready for a longish drive? You're such a good boy in the car. Look at his cute new collar, by the way. Gold hardware. Aren't you a posh boy? Yes, that is the sound of the rain on the window, guys. I've got your blanket here, Papa. It's gonna be a little bit nippy, I think, when it gets dark. There we go. Good morning, gorgeous people. How are we all? <laughs> I'll tell you how I am absolutely bloody knackered bad timing for the coffee machine so i need to clean it always comes up on the screen and tells you like when the tip thing needs um basically you have to poke like the tip to like the little tool light comes in steam tip maintenance 
required honeys. Honestly, miss this coffee machine so much when I'm in Wales. Morning, Papa. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, oh, I just early. woke up. Is it too early? Is it too early? For oh, I just woke up. Hello, pretty lady. Du, du, du. I'm just making us a coffee, darling. I do love you. I love your hair in the morning. It's my favourite. I was just making you a coffee because I thought you might not want to sleep in too much longer. No. Well, I wanted to go to the gym early, but I don't know. Okay. Well, I came up and turned your alarm off, to be honest, because it went off. I thought, oh, he'll notice it in a minute, but it's going off. But it went off so many times, I was like, he must be that flat out. Literally, usually I would just get up. But... Actually, I'll do the milk. So, Charlie's going to have a normal coffee, which is this, the Starbucks house blend. And I'm going to have the Starbucks, I think this is called the espresso roast, yeah. I need something strong. I've got just caramel syrup in mine, a little pump out of here, and Charlie's got a mix of caramel and coconut. Oh, I had to <laughs> I had to do a different milk for mine because it went all weird. Look at me. I thought you're making one for each person in the street. Look at it, Lovely, Charlie Sanders. Lovely. So I'm gonna make a great coffee. But ah. No, I'm real. Whoa. Guess where we're going for a Sunday lunch. It's pretty early to be in though. I'm actually buzzing that they've got it to be fair. I didn't think they were having. We were gonna go to Stamford, but then Charlie's like, oh I wanna take you to this really nice garden centre. So we rang a restaurant close is it close to a garden centre? Yeah. yeah. So we rang a restaurant there and I serve a Sunday lunch. So we're very excited. We're very hungry, aren't we darling? And then we're gonna go to the show home of our exact house. You've seen it in the vlog when we were like house hunting, but we're going back to that show home. It's on a different site because they don't have our exact house on our site it's available in the show home. But we're going there because we need to measure up, don't we? Because we need to like look at ordering a sofa. Oh, let's get that tape out of my car. Oh, fuck. Surely someone. Oh, we'll buy one in the garden centre. I'll just buy one and then I can keep it in my car then because I could actually do with one. Um, Says us going back. Yeah, we need to measure up for a sofa. We need to measure for. The bed, although I, th I feel like I want a pretty basic bed. Basic looking, because I just think it's stylish. I don't want anything. I want a big bed though. Yeah, well we've got to get you a big bed. We can't sleep in a double with you, can we? You're six foot what? Four. Six foot four. You should have seen how, when Charlie's stayed. I can't stayed... even save my bed I've got now, and that's a king size bed. I still yeah, but that's all we that. can get, unless you want bigger. We're going to have to get bigger. You Cocker? want bigger than a king? I can't lay down. Vertically, without moving to the side of it, I've got my finger. My yeah, finger I know, but what we, Charlie's got like a sleigh bed, you know, where like it goes up at the end. We won't get that because then you can just hang your little tootsies out. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry, went off on a tangent. Yeah, we need, need to get go some, to get some nice plants in there for the house. You think I can keep plants alive? I get fake plants at home. Do you say plants or plants? Plants. No, I know you plants. do. I'm asking the vlog. Plants. Plants um, and that plants. is literally that word is literally north versus south. Say bath. 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 Yeah, I say bath. Say bath. Say plants. Plants. Bath. Bath. Tap. Tap. Oh, you say that? Yeah, but it's not tarp. <laughs> it's not got an R on it. Tarp. I mean, it's bath. Yeah, it's got an H. It's got a T and a H. Like bath. It sounds like it's got an R on it. Bath. Yeah, you do. Oh. Nuts in it. Isn't it mad that we've got pure opposite accents? Yeah, it's mad. If if we were to have kids, I won't be getting brought up to talk like you. Around you. They will be well. They would be Welsh speakers. No, well, they wouldn't. Yes, yeah, they would. Speaking Welsh, that's not. Nice. They're gonna have to learn a little bit of Welsh because I want to keep the language alive. It's a dying language. Little outfit of the day: H and M jacket, Primark sweater, PLT baggy jeans, and I've got my banana edition Nike dunks on. Me and Charlie are dressed quite similar today. Baggy jeans and night dunks. Have you got dunks on? Oh yeah. This is where we're going. Tap and kitchen. How cute. Wow. I've got beef. Charlie's got pork. I'm actually a bit jealous of the pork now. This is so cute in here. We're in like the bar area, but there's like a restaurant over there. How cute. And there's like a little outdoorsy bit there as well. Cheers, oh, thank, thank you. you so much. No oh, thank you. Sweet little sort of salt and pepper meal. So we are going to get an olive tree. Are we? Maybe I want to get one like this. They're really like, uh, I'd be the very <laughs> No, see, something like that, you could actually get something like that, because it's like, obviously you'd have to have it transported there, but that would look sick. Yeah, but do you not reckon we'll get it in the 2 Series? <laughs> <laughs> Who 
can show the car. Yeah, I think we squeeze it in the back of there. <laughs> this is an actual, this is this is called, what's it called? Olive. Are, they, are these ones all right, actually? It's called Olive Gardens, Garden Centre, up the road. And they, they specialise in olive trees, that's what these are. Yeah, look well, obviously, Asha, it's called Olive Garden Centre for a reason, Babe, right? look at that one, I love that one. It's like a bonsai tree. Yeah, I reckon it's called Olive Garden oh, Centre because uh, they do olive trees. What do you reckon? It's like Vince from Recess, it's hair. Look, can you see? Do you know which, do you which character I'm talking about? The black guy with the square afro? Yeah, I know who you're on about, babe. I loved him. <laughs> Call me Vince. Yeah, we can get like little cute... Oh, let's get the hanging monkey. How much is he? Oh, that's cute. 210. I'm literally, look at my eyes. Can you see? Contact lens wearers this time of year. Cold air on the eyes, you can relate. That'd be nice inside. Yeah, and we could get inside. Yeah. Oh, these pots are cute, babe. See that little sage green one? I was just saying to Charlie, because we're just on like the main road back to his house, and I was just saying, oh, you take a right at the roundabout, then it's the first exit, and he was like, oh, you're learning. And I said, I remember the first time we drove to his house. We got back from Miami, didn't we? Then you came to Manchester for that weekend, which is my birthday weekend. Yeah, so I think it was like the following week after that, or two weeks after that, I drove here for the first time to stay. And I just said to Charlie, I remember the first time we did that drive, right? And I got to like this part of the drive, and I was like, you could have seen this exit. Oh my God. I was like, it is so far from where I live. How are we ever going to make this work? That was honestly my thought. And now look at us. Thanks to me for carrying the relationship, doing eight hour round trips. <laughs> week in, week out, you lucky boy. Do you get to know Rose and stuff? Like it goes quicker. <laughs> Got to put up with this nutcase forever. I will give you that, I am actually a really it's weird a character. Had it. Nutcase. I am actually, look at Sexy the senorita. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am actually a really weird character. And I know I'm a lot. So yeah, lucky you, but also, yeah. You do have to actually deal with me for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know it was that. Yeah, <laughs> Look at this for a view. Charlie's watching Arsenal v some one of them's about to kick off. Look how unreal the lake looks. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. About to kick a ball. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we're at the exact show home of our house. Although this was built um, a while ago, so it's not red brick anymore. We've got, this is basically ours exactly. Oh, it's really hard to look past how this one's decorated. Little two-seater there, with a little coffee table, and then, or maybe we have like an L section, and then a telly on that. No, we're not getting it, we're not getting two corners over. Oh, so we'll having... get a two and a two like this then. What we need is, I think we shouldn't have a dining table. We don't need a dining table. We'll have four bar stools on an overlapping island. You don't want it too tight to work that is where you're stood next to. It. Yeah, of course. So it could literally start from here. Also, I want, you know, we're getting glass cut for all the bathrooms for mirrors. I want one on the edge of this as well, just to open it up. Is that okay? Will you sort that out? Guys, we need opinions here, right? Our kitchen is nothing like this. Oak worktops, anthracite grey cupboards, brass, uh, antique gold handles, and our floor is like white, um, not really marble because it's like matte but it's like it's white anyway our hub is an induction electric hub so it's not going to look like this obviously it pretty much looks like that but with obviously the circles on it do we go for the black splashback because then it will like be seamless to the hub because it's an electric induction hub or do we stick with like the milky white splashback because it goes with the walls more i just don't know if, if the black is like too mirrored i'm not really sure how i'm feeling about the black I mean, literally, that looks like mirrored there. Um, but we really need opinions on this because we are both so undecided. It's literally the one thing we can't decide on and it is so minor. The kitchen is absolutely huge. That's like a kitchen diner. So this is me walking to the, all the way to the other end. And it goes all the way back there and the ceilings are quite high in here. So we've decided that we're going to scrap a dining table because I don't really feel like we need... I don't think we're going to go for a dining table. If we feel like we're missing one, we could always put one here if we like decided not to get us over but we're definitely getting an island so we're getting an island built and we're going to go for a light color compared to the kitchen which i know sounds weird but we just think it's going to look really nice and then the worktop won't be wood like our kitchen it'll be so basically the island will be stand apart from the kitchen we're trying to work out what size we're having the island bespoke made uh, by charlie's dad's friend and we're trying to work out how big we want the island to be and we think this table might be a good size 
then I don't think islands are, are ever that big. Basically in the island we want like a wine rack, a deep drawer for like the bins to go in so they're like concealed and hidden. We've got like a few things that we want um, but we just feel like we'll make more use of it. And then this edge here and this edge here is going to like overlap the base so we can get two bar stools under there and two bar stools under this side. That is the plan. So we've just come to measure for that and also for sofas and just some other little bits as well. Whoa. Catfish and chill, baby. Anyone hey, else? As it delivery. Obsessed with catfish, like even still. I used to be obsessed back in the day. Neve is just an absolute legend. Do you ever watch catfish properly, Bubs? Yeah, I watch it before, it's boring. Oh. Mm, that's awkward. <laughs> Thanks. I have, I don't like it. Are you eating Don't Tell the Vlog? Maltesers, they're dangerous because I could easily do a bag to myself. How long do you want to watch, Bubba? You're very tired after your walk, aren't you? Oh, how are we all? It is the next day. Oh! Oh! Daddy's home! Wow! Oh my god, wow, it's amazing! Do you love it? Look at the new car. I was literally just vlogging. Oh. Hi, baby. Who's there? Daddy. What's outside? Tell them. <laughs> new smoker. Sort of. Somebody's new car got delivered today. Let's have a new coffee in it then. Sort of. Ah! Oh my look god, at it, guys! Look. <laughs> At this car, like literally brand new. You've got my reflection. I've like... got more wires in the back than a fucking electrician. Oh my god! What's the... Oh shit! Yeah. So what did they give you a little demo of, like the electricness? No, I'll just work it out tonight myself. So oh my I'm god! I'm gonna charge it from there. Look, look at bumper there. Where is he? <laughs> look at bumper in Charlie's front doorway. I don't want to show them the front of the house. Let me see you. Hi. It looks unreal, babe. I'm so happy for you. Do you love it? Nice, isn't it? <laughs> Babe, it's so nice. What the fuck? Well, that's the, oh, I've been filming. How much? So, how do you know when it's full battery or whatever? I'm well, saying there, it's got 255 there. That mile range? Yeah, that's the range. Babe, so, it tells you, it, it varies so based on how. Nice, it's got heated seat. <gasps> it's got a heated <gasps> steering wheel. Bad look. Fuck off. Oh my god. Steering wheel heat activated. Bit bad, turn it off. No way. I am so jealous. I guess he's insured. Automatic phone charging. Oh yeah. my god, that's mad. That's it. What the hell? Nice, isn't it? It's so nice. You're happy with it, babe. It's mad, isn't it? I've it's never mad because it's electric. It just turns off, though. So you have to, like, basically get going in it quickly. I've yeah. never had a brand new, like, a brand new car. How many miles has it got on the clock? How do you check? Oh, the seatbelt's automatic tightening. Are you actually... <laughs> it's all fully loaded, this. Literally, brand what new. What the hell? Look at the panoramic roof. Comfort. Yeah, Better. don't tell me the mileage on the car, though. It should maybe here. What about going car there? How good it feels to be back in a big car, babe? Unreal. Poor Charlie's been driving around because he's. He, so this is like this is just an electric version, an electric newer version of your car, isn't it? Is no, it? This is X3. I had X5, then I was bigger. This is bigger. No, the other one was. Oh really? It doesn't yeah, feel it's got much virtual more. Virtual cockpit. Like, look, 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 it's got like the. It's telling me the sat nav there and everything. It um. Well, it doesn't feel much smaller than your other car, though. So Charlie, when we met, had an X5, yeah. and this is an iX3, so basically a slightly smaller electric version, but in the time between him selling his car and this one arriving, because this got here later than you thought, he's been driving around like a little convertible one <laughs> And honestly... Look, look at that. Because that, that car was there, yeah, it's automatically braking. How mad is that? Oh my God, does it feel weird? Yeah. It automatically breaks. I couldn't do anything then. That's good though, because obviously if I'm fucking not paying attention. Well, you won't not be paying attention in a brand new car like this. Guys, hello. It is the, not the next day, the day after you last saw me. Sorry, it was all a bit of a madness. Charlie's new car got delivered, which honestly is so unreal. I haven't had a go at driving it yet. I am insured, but it's just so big and I'm too scared. It like tightens your seat belts to like where they should be. It's like, it's like being in a spaceship. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, and then I made us a spag ball and then I drove home super early the next day because Charlie had like a really busy day yesterday um, before he's flown to Amsterdam today. He's not long landed. So I've just spoken to him, but yeah, I am at home. 
last night my brother and my sister-in-law were here and their dog flash which is the labrador that you've seen here probably a few times now on the channel so we literally just had like a cozy night in it's currently 12 30 today i have got up sorted myself out a little bit and packed from charlie's house bumper had a vet's appointment so we've been there just like a health check very exciting just arrived and i'm going to show you what it is i've already linked them on my instagram story because i know a lot of you a lot of you follow me for my sneaker collection guys i'm sorry <laughs> mm, my god these are the brand new nike dunk driftwood colorway I managed to cop them yesterday and they've just arrived already and I've linked them on my story and I'm not even joking you guys have sold out pretty much all of the sizes since I linked them um but I always I always get myself a pair first before I link them you know you gotta look after yourself first so it's all systems go for the house now and Josh is gonna price up some materials now that we've got the measurements um and yeah that's pretty much the update with the house still hoping we'll be in just before christmas which will be very exciting although christmas is cancelled because that is our present to each other how much the house has cost us <laughs> and also we we won't have time to decorate like our stuff will still be in boxes um but i'm gonna go make another cup of tea i just wanted to come around the vlog up really also that noise was me opening my contraceptive pill uh staring at this three month supply wondering if i'm going to take it or whether i am going to come off of the pill i've got a lot of decisions to make surrounding that at the moment because i have been on the pill a long time like i'm talking i was given the pill at 16 because i had the most horrendous periods maybe we'll do a full story time on this the most horrendous periods and then about two or two or three years ago no 2020 so two years ago it was just after i had my rhinoplasty just before the first lockdown my periods went horrific again i don't know what happened so i switched to the mini pill which is one that you don't have a break from and i've been absolutely fine on it the pill has always worked for me it's each to their own i totally get that i think contraception is so different from one person to the next and honestly you should never really just go off anybody else's experience i do know it's very hit and miss with a lot of people there's so many different forms of contraception now annoyingly still none for men like we ever going to address that except for a freaking condom like why don't they have to put hormones into their body um but yeah i am unsure right now making decisions on whether i'm going to come off contraception altogether don't really know what to do but basically i'm i'm due like i took my last pill last night anyway what a random end to the vlog just because i literally just picked this up a second ago thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in wednesday's video bye